for my chicken pot pie. I have the Pillsbury chicken pie crust because we ain't got time to be doing all that. <laughs> I have chicken mushrooms, chicken broth, some whoa, 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 what the f sauce, <laughs> some chicken better than bouillon. My nails look trifling. <laughs> Some cream of chicken because I like it creamy. Mm -hmm. And y'all, this was like the best thing they could have did. Peas and carrots. Onion, heavy whipping cream, and amongst other things. But the other things are just seasoning. So, watch me work. Not a tutorial. It's just a video on me making chicken pie. Alright, bye. So here's me dicing up my chicken in small bite-sized pieces so that I can get them ready to go into my filling. Alright guys, so here is some of the seasoning I'm using. I'm using this McCormick Himalayan pink salt with black pepper and garlic. It's one of my faves. I'm using garlic powder, onion powder, the staples, the usual black pepper, some complete sazon, and some salt-free seasoning. I got this from Dollar Tree. Don't skip on the Dollar Tree for your seasonings because they be. You'd be surprised. And I got some Tony Tessarese. I'm not going to use that much of that because obviously this has salt in it, but you get the picture. So let's get the seasoning until we start sneezing. I said sneezing. In. All right, I can do it. All right, y'all. So I got my chicken all seasoned, ready to go. I'm about to throw this in the frying pan so that I can stir it up. And yeah, do that. So now, y'all, I'm just throwing my chicken up in the pan so that we can stir it up. Get a nice little brown coat on it you know it'll be real juicy when you get able to see it going and then i'm gonna show y'all what i'm what i'm gonna do after that while i'm cutting up my veggie table la, 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 la. sorry i'm stop making all the noises y'all that's really how i act for real though i'm always geeking goofing off but i'm gonna see these up and then i did it Okay, guys, as you can see, I got me a nice little stir going on. It's coming along. Good. Yes. And this is me listening to some music. If you know me, you know I am stuck in the 90s, okay? All right, bye. So as you can see here, you guys, I've cut up my mushrooms, a whole lot of them because I like mushrooms. I'm finna cut up this onion and that's it for the veggies because y'all know I got me some frozen peas and carrots to make it real quick because yeah, why not? Well, so I'm just chopping up my onion right now and that's going to be it for my veggies because like I said, I have some frozen peas and carrots and that lessens up the work that I have to do, right? Less work is always, listen, don't let nobody tell you how to cook in your kitchen, you know, all that. It ain't from scratch, you use fresh, you use fresh. Damn it. Shoot, cause um, I'm gonna use whatever it is that's gonna cut them shortcuts, baby. And that's what we're doing. So, I did it. All right, y'all. I done simmered some butter down in there. I'm trying to record and add my stuff, so bear with me. Now I'm gonna add my veggies, my onion, my mushroom. Then I'm gonna add my carrots and peas because y'all know that they frozen, so I don't want them to get too soggy. But yeah, I'll be back because this is a lot to do. I ain't I'll be back. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just seasoning my veggies because, of course, you know, you got to season those too. I'm adding some black pepper, my Himalayan pink salt with the garlic because y'all know that's my well, y'all don't know yet, but y'all gonna see that that's like my, my stuff. I'm basically adding all the seasonings that I. Pretty much added to the chicken. And yeah, so that's just what we're doing here. So I'll be back. Got my little pot going. I'll be back. Oh, y'all, these veggies look good. So after I done season them up, I'm finna add me some what the F sauce. And 
yeah i did add a little garlic paste as well just a little bit well that's not enough that's enough all righty so mix that on up in there There we go with the W sauce. Why can't nobody say that word, y'all? Or somebody can, and I'm just a little slow. Who can say it? Comment down below and let me know if it just rolls off your tongue. Because it don't for me, okay? And I don't know nobody who would do, so... Yeah, comment down below if it rolls off your tongue like that. Because, yeah... Mm -mm. Now I'm finna add me a few teaspoons, tablespoons, whatever. This ain't no measurement. Like I said, this ain't no tutorial. I'm gonna add me a little bit of flour. A little bit of flour. That's enough. That's enough right there. So as you can see, it is getting like kind of pasty. Or like just real thick or whatever. Like me. <laughs> but, ooh. This seasoning got me sneezing. I was like, you know it's gonna be good, baby. The ancestors said, stop! And all right, I'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all, so now I'm just adding my chicken broth. And I'm going to let that simmer down, simmer down, simmer down. That's really a gospel song, y'all. Shower down, shower down. Tell me if y'all feel your spirit, Lord. Tell me if y'all know this song. Do any of y'all know the Lord? Oh, y'all heard that horn beat. That mean I do. Baby, the Lord is with me all the time. All right, I'll be back. Now, I'm just going to let that simmer down like so. And, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so now that, you know, it's doing a little bit more than simmering, I'm going to add some heavy whipping cream to get it a little thicker. Thicker, thicker, like a snicker like me, baby. Yep, and I'll be back again okay y'all so now it's looking like this i'm going to continue to let it thicken up and then i'm going to add my carrots and my peas and then my chicken and then we're going to assemble our pie. all right y'all as y'all know i'm using the store-bought pie crust and i am now going to put it in my pie dish right, y'all so now i got the first wait a minute let me focus okay so i got a first pie crust on there and i'm gonna add my filling and then I'll put the next one on there. Okay, y'all. So now I'm going to add the filling. I'm going to try not to make a mess. So y'all bear with me. I'm going to have to come back probably. But here we go. And I'm going to just keep doing it until, you know, I get a little full. I'll be back. You know, I also had to wipe my camera off so that I can kind of get a little. Y'all hear that sizzling? That means I'm making a mess. But anyway. I had to clean my damn stove, but I had to wipe my camera off so y'all can kind of get the full effect. So here we go. One more time. Yeah, baby. Y'all see that? Mm. Looking so good. Okay, here's my second pie crust. This is what it's looking like, y'all. So I'm finna add this second layer and I'll be back. Show y'all what it's looking like afterwards and how we gonna make it all pretty and stuff. Well, I'm at least try. Because, y'all, believe it or not, this is my first time. Not making a chicken pie pie, but making it this way. I've never used this. I've never used this. I've always made my own, you know. So, I'm curious to see how this going to work out. Is it the same or whatever? But it should be. Yeah, I'm sure Pillsbury know what they're doing more than I do. All right, I'll be back. So, I got my fork. I'm going to crust the edges. I'm just going to try to make it look like how it be looking on TV. If it don't come out like... <laughs> What I imagine or what I envision, baby. This is just what we're gonna go for. Hey, all we can do is try until we get it right, right? So, that's what I'm doing, just pressing the edges down with my fork. All right, y'all, so this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna melt some butter and brush the top of it. And we shall see what we get. I'll be back. Yeah, I'm just trying to add my little cute little slit up in there. It's not going to be perfect, but we just going to try to do a little cute little something. I'll be back. 
This is as fancy as we gonna get, y'all. I think that's fancy enough. I'm finna brush it with some butter and some parsley, and we finna throw this bad boy in the oven, cause baby, I'm ready. So, y'all, right here, let me move this over here. Wait, it's hot. No, girl. We is not John Wick or the Equalizer, so we gonna leave that right there, cause I, don't, I ain't that damn strong. And I got my parsley and my melted butter, and I got my little brush, and... I am going to, <gasps> baby, not so hard. Why are you so heavy handed? I'm a strong, look. <laughs> That's why, just don't play with me. Cause I'm one of them strong girls, believe it or not. But let's go. So we just going butter lightly because y'all see what I just did. That is not okay. And I'm gonna toss it in the oven after this, so. I'll be back after I finish doing this because doing this and holding the phone is... No, I ain't going to blame it on that. I'm just wrong. <laughs> I'll be back. Y'all looking at my papa, baby. Okay. That came from that little slit that I need that was a bit much, but it's all good. It's not going to be perfect, but I bet you it's going to taste perfect, baby. It looks so good. Mm, I can't wait to dig in this. So I'm going to let it cool off for about 10 minutes, maybe even 15. And then, yeah, I'm going to show y'all what the result is. Be back. Yeah, y'all see how crusty these look. Oh. <laughs> look, I'm going I'm to pull y'all back up when I get it out. Because I ain't finna mess my pie up for y'all. Hold up. I'll be back. Y'all, I'm mad because I said all that and still kind of, it just could have cooled off a little bit more. But I can't wait, so I'm gonna dig in. This thing looks so good because it don't gotta be perfect anyway. Because we just need the crust. The filling I already know is banging, and the crust will make it bang a little bit more. So that's the end of this video. I ain't got no banging outro for y'all because I'm tired. But um. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. I feel like I'm ready to run. I'm a 10, so I'm pulling a 10. Like